Hey troops, my little troop loopers. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm just gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a quickie. I have um a few things to do, and then some errands I gotta get done. And the dentist, Caden, the last one. So then I gotta grab my daughter. I had to clean the driveway will help because it is snowed here in the wingwin so I'll be back I'll either do like an afternoon live or um, I almost did it again that midnight live I don't know what that is oh you see you see the little Grinch on my pants you see the little Grinch on my jammies <laughs> uh, well they're not even my jammies all right the cadence so um yeah, I'm wearing my son's pajamas. That is super strange. Um, yeah, I almost said midnight read again. I don't know what's up with that. But either an afternoon read or after dinner read. Okay. I All right. So what is today? The fifth, February fifth. I want the energy for just today. Just today, not tomorrow, not yesterday, just today. Guys, obviously, it can change tomorrow, but I just want two cards for the energy for today. And the Halo song's coming to me. I think that's Beyonce. You can be my Halo, Halo. That's a no good. That's a no good. Shady shit. Shady, shady shit. Shady, shady shit. Alrighty. For those who have been following me for a long time, you know exactly how I read my cards. This and let your friends help you, not good cards. <clears throat> I always said Zoyan Virtue is going to hit me up one day and be like, you're butchering my cards. No, not really. I lent on these cards. So, no. No. That's some shady shit. That's someone being like, I want to marry you, or that's, you're already in a marriage, and it's not good. If someone wants out, or somebody wants someone else, I'm telling you I've had a past, li a past life with that guy. Creeps me out. He creeps me out. Look at him. I can look at him, but I'd say a good year ago, I couldn't even look at him. So, there's children in this situation, so maybe someone's staying because of children. Or maybe somebody's abusing a situation. You've been together for a long time or something, and it's like, it's, it's using a child, right? And at the bottom of the deck, we got like all control issues. So, this is... I don't know. I feel like manipulation. If you go yada yada, you know, or you never see a child, or somebody's staying in a marriage because of children. All right. But this is almost like the universe being like, well, there's definitely trust issues, right? But this is definitely the universe being like, it's almost like to me, trust that the children will be okay. Trust that people will be okay. But Considering we have let go of control issues at the bottom of the deck and I placed it right in the middle, that that's like straight up manipulation. Like there's something there's something shady there. And you got the seven of wands and strength that I just saw, so I don't know if you blocked someone's blocking someone. I don't and normally I don't read the Seven of Wands as, as blockage, but that's a, that's a for sure blockage right there. Yeah, there's that Five of Wands. There's that Five of Wands. So, tell me about wedding. What's going on? What's going on? You can be my halo. Halo. Such a beautiful song for such a shit show of a read. I don't know what that's forgotten. You can be my halo. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Well, 
Obviously, you, you guys are in the household together, right? Not not going good for once it's reversed. You're dealing with somebody that's arrogant. Um, there could be lack of finances, but to me, this is... It's like you guys are lonely with the Ten of Pents reversed. Too. It could be lack of finances or you're worried about your finances. But to me, this is... There's definitely arrogance, right? But I also feel like there's a wish. There's something that someone manifested... And there's a wish. And in order to get to this wish, it's letting go of a family or moving out of a household or moving forward. I'm not really, I don't really see money issues. But this combo with the Alchemist and the Nine of Cups, for sure, something you manifested, some type of wish throughout the years, however it went down, um, is, is present. But besides that the reason why I look at this as arrogance because we just of these cards right here so somebody doesn't want to either let go of a family situation because they have a house they lose money um, they definitely live together you guys definitely live together and with the five of pens and the ten of pens reversed you know it could just be like I said the family's not together but you, you, chances are you're sticking around because of either children or or money Let's tell me about children no one caters to anyone in this situation I don't know what that's forgetting because this would be sometimes it's usually someone handing you food or drinks so that's like a smug look right like no one's catering to nobody comfortable within the household but not happy but because the, I'm going to say it again, but because it's like one of these two wants something new or they're sitting here for the last few years, however it rolls, fantasizing about something different. And it's like you created, you manifested something, a dream, whatever you fantasize about. And it's like, if that's the case, that's how I know. It's either children or money getting the best of you, or how do I get out of this situation? Or the universe is definitely taking control of the situation because you manifested it. You've been manifesting it. Sometimes your, your thoughts, your wishes, your desires, they, they come into fruition. It could take years. But like if you want it out of a situation for I'm super lightheaded. I don't know if you I don't know what that's about. If you want it out of a situation for years, or you've been trying to control a situation for you, I mean the universe always butts in somehow. Let's say, tell me about children. You got the Prince of Wands. You can have a younger son or daughter with the world reversed. So it's like, yeah, not wanting to leave because of a certain situation. But you also have the Eight of Wands, which is telling me this is more of a journey. If you have older children, you might be telling your child about kind of what's going on in the household, but I'm not really seeing that. You might be considering, you know, because you got this one right here, the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, considering talking, talking with something, you know, but like wanting a fresh new start, whether it's the gentleman or the female, but like not completing a cycle, not ending something. So it's like just staying in a marriage, not, you know, tell me about trust. And it looks like someone's staying in a marriage because of either, again, children or money. Both. Definitely looks like both. Um, and then trust. You have the King of Cups reversed with the Three of Swords. So it looks like, considering the King once came out, so it could be a, um, a masculine figure. But I think they're drinking. But besides that, like, trust that there's a new start that something will get wrapped up karmically. So you're in a karmic cycle, for sure, that the universe is saying, mm, it's probably time to get out of, but you might not, all right? So I, I think the the King of Cups is drinking a lot, but they also not trusting a situation because they don't want to break someone's heart or they don't want to break their own heart. They want, you know, they've been hurt in the past or this is ego. It's, it's one or the other. But it looks like, like I said, with these two cards that are coming out next, you know, trust the new start. So this is somebody who's very aware of a situation, very aware, not wanting to be in this situation anymore, but staying in it for the children or staying in it for money. 
and they don't trust. I don't know if they're worried about hurting somebody else's heart, you know, like the children or the wife or the husbands. Tell me about the three of swords. But to me, it's that's a blockage. That's, that's ego. It's pride, too, you know. Um, someone's definitely drinking, for sure. Yeah, the four of swords. So it's like not talking about it, not thinking about it. King of Pence. And then we got the chariot. So... You know, it's it's a Capricorn energy, um, leaving the past behind, but but not right because they're not even thinking about it. If this was upright, they would think about it. But it's this is also pain. This is not healing from a situation. So I don't know what went down because I don't see anything per se. It doesn't look like anyone got kicked out. It doesn't look like you guys are even arguing. It's a, you know what I mean. But like. I don't know if this is, is, it looks to me like this cycle's already been repeated numerous times in the last eight years, however it goes down for you guys, right? It's not the first time this scenario has come into play with the world being reversed. King of Pence, usually somebody who definitely banks the money, very responsible. I don't know if they can't trust the wife, maybe they don't want... It's something with children too, but this is very manipulating energy. So either he manipulates or controls or vice versa. Every time someone wants out because the two of wands was at the bottom of the deck under the king of wands. So like every time somebody wants out of a situation, somebody comes in and manipulates the situation. You won't be able to see the children. I'll take you for all your money. Yada, yada, yada. Massive manipulation. But the thing is, you manifested something like spirits in your world, you know what I mean, or in this person's world, or their ancestors, their guides, whether they're spiritual or not, you know, into the universe, into fiat. So I think somebody has massive trust issues. I almost, like, this energy, the masculine, is hurt right now. They're hurting. Like, they don't know how they would heal a situation if they were to leave. But they're, they're hurting right now. So, but I don't see anybody leaving. I don't see conversations. I don't see thoughts. It's almost like someone just knows, you know what I'm saying? Like this is, like I said, this is somebody who knows or you created your own prophecy, you know, and now it's like, it's like you're not trusting it. You're definitely dealing with somebody who's drinking. You know, reverse is being over emotional with the three of swords for sure. Like this is somebody who's the thought of even leaving this hurts. So you're not dealing with a a, a dick. You know, you, I mean, some of them might be dicks, but like if it's a masculine, you, you're not. This person has feelings. They have emotions. You know, they know if they were to leave this situation, the children, the white, vice versa. You know, it's the masculine that's coming into play here, but. It is, it hurts them. But at the same time, it's like, I'm surprised the Five of Wands isn't out because it's like battling. Can I trust it? Can I not? Tell me about the control issues. Whoa, too many control issues. Ace of Wands, Reverse. Somebody's trying to control their passion, their creativity, their brain. Yeah, they're trying to control. Like, so they must be fantasizing of someone else or, like I said, a brand new life. This person's been, whoever's controlling the money, the household, the situation, you know, it, it's like controlling their passion not going after their passion like I don't know if there's a lot of attraction somewhere there's somebody else in the picture somewhere or they just been having that picture in their head for a very long time of a certain dream coming true or the way a marriage should have been or could have been the way a family was raised or wasn't you know it's like that type of energy and it's like if someone's not going over the, uh, someone's not going after their passion it's, it's, it's kind of disappointing from my eyes view, you know, 
because I always say, you know, make sure you go on after passion, guys. That's where you find your happy. So this is not a happy scenario right now. This is someone's hurting because they want something else, but they don't, they just don't want to leave this. It's hard. They could stay if they want. You know, the world's reversed. It's the, the universe hasn't closed the chapter or the door necessarily, but it's almost like they, it's like they really do want to leave. They were so close, so on the verge, you know, but it's like leaving this situation, the household is, is painful for this person because this person didn't leave unless they're, you know, they're deciding to let go of the control issues and, and let the passion lead them, which is a possibility maybe with all this pain because you would have to go through this. You'd have to trust it to have that new start. You'd have to let go of the control. You'd have to just let it play out. This is not somebody who just lets things play out naturally all the time. The situation doesn't can't really play out naturally. Tell me about the world real quick. Because I don't see... The universe already interfered. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so if this person stays, they stay. But it looks like, you know, they, they might communicate the world. See the Empress reversed. It's almost like this couple, does, they don't even nurture each other. She doesn't even nurture him. You know, it is... Yeah, it's definitely a different... A different woman like there's the or man you know you gotta decipher who's who if you're same sex but it's like she won't let go even it's almost like even if this person wanted to leave she she doesn't let go the wife won't let go I mean eventually she would if this one decided to to keep it moving there's not much of a choice right but it's almost like since she's attached to the cycle is they're both there's definitely lessons on both ends to learn but it looks like it's it's more her where's her self-worth like she's not happy she's not interested you know what I mean like so it's almost like they're there for children and money that's it there's not there's not lovey-dovey it's, it's, it's not like that but there's obviously love. There was a marriage, guys. I don't, you know, it's that simple. But she's got the lessons on her too, to almost like let go of the situation. Or well, this one's thinking, you know, like you don't put no effort into me. You don't. Not that somebody needs to cater to someone, but like, it's just that nurturing energy that maybe once was there is it's not there. It, it's 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 not like that. There's no one in love. They may love each other because there's pain here, right? But there's there's no one's in love. And, and someone sees, it would be nice if they both saw, you know, that they could both have something down the road that they both deserve or whatever the case may be. But someone sees a bright situation. It's, they've already manifested it, you know. Um, now it's like you go after it or you don't. And I'm telling you right now, this person might not, especially if there was another woman, or still is. It doesn't look like anyone sleeping with anyone. It, I, I don't know when this occurred, but it almost looks like this energy is going to stay. But they know they can leave. But I don't think they want to endure this. They don't have enough trust to endure what that is. It happens. So I don't know who this message was for, because I don't see this person leaving a situation by any means, you know. It's like they want to communicate, but they're not. It's been a thought. It's... You know. Well, this person could be real close to leaving a situation because they realize they don't have this and they can get it elsewhere. Or maybe they realize something came into fruition. So they're just like, masculine's having an extremely hard time either having this conversation with her 
or deciding to stay put or to go after passion. You know what I mean? Jelly beans is, is definitely a tough scenario. Tell me about those ace of wands real quick. But it's like someone's trying to control their attraction, their passion, and outcome here. And, and they can. They can. That's on them, right? On what direction somebody wants to go. For sure. Yeah, I just look at it. it just It, it kind of is a shame because I, I tell you guys all the time. Um, so, yeah, they, they do want to be with this person, you know. Um, this one energy is vulnerable right now. This person likes to control their vulnerability. They're controlling the attraction, the vulnerability. This one individual does not like to feel vulnerable by any means. It, it empowers them. It takes away their masculinity. You know, it's, it's that simple. It's almost like they, they want to give up. They won't, they won't fight for it because they got a family. They'll look right at the family. But look at it. They're not even happy in their family dynamic. See, some people stay in these situations, and, and who are we to judge, you know, especially if there's an arrangement? Who's to say, you know, they don't stay together because of the children and because of the money, and they're perfectly comfortable doing that? It is what it is, troops. There is plenty of situations like that. It works out for them. But there's love and there's passion elsewhere. So they got a taste of something. You're either going to take it or you're not. So, again, I don't know who that reading was for, but it doesn't look like anyone's going anywhere. It, again, it, it, I almost said 50-50, so it might be pulled to that read only because there's a lot of pain here. Because they see the pain because they know this is going to cause a lot of pain leaving the situation and going after passion. But it's like they, they need to trust themselves. They need to trust their intuition. But right now they can't they can't even feel their intuition in this type of energy. So someone knows, you know, they don't want to be there, but they're there for comfortability reasons and it looks like there's a lot of security here. You know, you got the ten of pence, they they built up their bank account. Um, there's a house, could be paid off. It's an empress. There's children, there's money involved. Like I said, the mortgage could already be paid off. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of things like that. There's a lot to consider when, when you get to this age of having that type of security in your life already. Who is to say that, you know, there's not toddlers running around? And yeah, he might make good money, but that's him paying his own rent and, and paying all this stuff too. Bills, college, schools you know, loans, so say everything's not paid off, you know what I mean, people stay in situations for, for it to benefit them and their family, and sometimes, you know, they, they just do, I was gonna say, it's like the right thing, but it's, it's not, it's not really, it's all the wrong reasons, only because something else was manifested. If if something else wasn't manifested and somebody wasn't in fantasy land or somebody didn't want someone else or somebody wasn't craving passion, this wouldn't even come onto the board. But the fact is, it's on my board. So somebody created a new reality or has been dreaming about it for years, whether it's him or her. See what I'm saying? So it's like, it's they created it, whether it was a third party or not. It's something they created. So that's like the universe saying, all right, well, you got this opportunity with or without anybody. Just uh, have a fresh start and really live life and be adventurous and feel the passion. Go after the crave. You know, it's, it's that type of energy because they've been fantasizing about it. You know, so it's definitely being in a pickle and it's it's definitely rough energy for sure. But that's, that's the read, okay? Like I said, uh, I'll see you guys later. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.